Sports games are pretty much bottom of the barrel for me when it comes to lazy recycled content that's repackaged every single year and sold at the same exact price tag. And this is coming from a guy who's bought every single Call of Duty from 4 up. So I think I'm kind of qualified to talk about that's rehashed. The reason I'm making this video is because me and my one buddy got into a pretty heated argument, or debate rather, about this uh, type of subject, and I figured I'm going to put my two cents out there for the internet to see. Keep in mind, I'm a guy who hardly plays sports games, so I I'm not super qualified in this, but I will be making points about other games and franchises, so before you go ahead disliking this video, hear me out first, alright? So my big gripe with sports games is the fact that visibly, like, I don't see too much of a difference between year-to-year -year release. Like, graphics-wise, sure, they may improve a little bit, but I still feel like Madden should look better than it does. Like, it, it just doesn't feel like a game that looks phenomenal. Like, from afar, yeah, it looks good. But, like, once you look at the player models, you're like, oh, my God, they're Play-Doh. Like, they're not phenomenal in terms of graphics, but uh, graphics only matter so much, uh... You really only care about graphics for the the face value of it. Once you're actually into the gameplay, graphics hardly matter. So, of course, with the yearly releases of these sports games, they're going to add some new things, sometimes new modes, new uh, ways to monetize the game because they want even more of your money than $60. And it just annoys me because, like, the base game of, like, let's we're going to use Madden as an example. The base game of Madden is the same. It is American football... So the objective is going to be the same. There may be some different modes, like uh, the franchise mode. You can play online. There's some other things, like an MLB. There's Home Run Derby. There's that one shit that looks like Risk or whatever. And, like, yeah, maybe they do add some new modes in whatever. But at the core of it, like, the only huge difference from year to year is, like, a roster change. Why can't they just do that in the regular game? Like, Madden 2020, for an example... Uh, why couldn't they just update the roster from 2020 to 2021? Was there a reason they couldn't? No, they totally could, because I'm pretty sure it uses the same exact engine and hardly anything changes, but they just want more money from you? And yet they still have, like, these loot boxes and shit, or at least in, like, MLB the show they do. I don't know about Madden and all those, because like I said, I hardly play sports games. What's the difference from year to year? You're playing football. Why do you need to pay $60 for an extra roster change? And maybe some other menial things. When they could have just updated it. They could totally update it. And then the argument would be, well, Call of Duty's the same game every year. At its core, yeah. You're running around shooting people. But at least between, like, COD World War II to Modern Warfare to Black Ops Cold War, like, the base maps are different. The base guns are different. Of course, the base gameplay is the same. You're always typically going to have a campaign mode, multiplayer, and some extra mode. Typically zombies, because that prints money as well. But, like, at least, like, the maps are different enough, at least. I mean, they keep remastering old maps because people complain that there's you know, the new maps suck, but then they complain that we're only getting remasters. It's like, you guys are the problem there. Call of Duty is the base game, like, the objective is the same, as well as sports games. But, it like, you can't really change much in a football game. The argument is that all of these year release games, like, the objective is the same. Call of Duty, the objective is to kill people, win, blah. Sports games, the objective is to play the sport, win the game, duh. Like, why does Madden have to be a yearly release? Release it every two to three years with a, like, roster update every year, or however often you need to do it. Like, what? who would complain about that? The games don't look significantly better. I mean, you could say the same thing about Call of Duty between the past three years of Call of Duty. Does the game really look any significantly better? I mean, I'd argue Modern Warfare looks a lot better than Cold War, but, like, typically they're running on the same engine and, you know, the same people are working on it. So, of course, the games are going to look very similar. But like I said, at least in Call of Duty, you got a variety of maps, guns, weapons. Weapons and guns are the same thing. You have a variety of different shit, whereas in, like, football, like, the only real difference is the, what team you play on. And the teams are all the same. I mean, of course, what player is on what team differs from year to year, but you get what I'm saying, right? Like, and I've been a big proponent of Call of Duty ditching the yearly release method, so don't, don't get it twisted and say that, oh, you're advocating for this for sports games that you hardly even play, but not for Call of Duty. No, I advocate that for Call of Duty. Modern Warfare should not have just been a one year and done, given Warzone's huge, but, like, I would rather have a two to three year Call of Duty life cycle as opposed to the one year and then go on to the next, but 
with all these games and franchises, they just print money, so that's why they're going to release them every year. I like how Battlefield is, you know, again, two, three years in between each title, and a, there's enough of a difference between each title that, okay, I can justify a $60 price tag. Same thing with Call of Duty. There's typically it's in a different setting, different developer making it, so at the base, yes, it's the same objective, but, like, everything else in the game is typically going to be different. So, like, yeah, maybe... Between, like, Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, there isn't a ton of changes because it's still a modern game, but it's not like Modern Warfare 2 came out and then Modern Warfare 3 was a year later. Like, there's at least a couple of years in between. Like, I, dude, sports games, they just annoy me. Like, why do any of these franchises need to come out every single year with next to little of a change, next to nothing of a change, aside from, like, a roster update, maybe a couple other things, and aside from it printing money, there is no real reason why they couldn't just update the roster every year. There's no real reason why Call of Duty can't have a multi-year life cycle. It's all because these things print money, so these companies are going to keep doing it. Like, <laughs> And, like, I play MLB The Show, but, like, I wouldn't buy next year's, per se. Like, I got it on Game Pass, so I had to pay nothing for it. The game itself is fun. I can't play it for a shit ton of time because sports games really aren't my forte. But, like, I would not buy that game again. If I had to buy it this year, I wouldn't buy it next year. Because, like, what is going to be the main difference? Especially me as someone who's not, like, the only sport I really watch is football and I only watch my home team play. Like, I'm not going to care about these other changes in the gameplay. And arguably, there isn't a lot of change in the gameplay. Maybe there is some adjustments in the controls, buttons, and all that. But, like, at the core of it, a Madden game plays virtually the same year from year, says the dude who doesn't play Madden games and hasn't played since, like, Madden 08. So, <laughs> take what I say with a grain of salt, at least don't hate me for it, because like I said, I don't think sports games should be a yearly release. I don't think Call of Duty should be a yearly release. I don't think a lot of these game franchises should be a yearly release when there is next to nothing of a difference from variation to variation. But these things print money, so they're going to continue to do it until the end of time, until no one buys it anymore, which, honestly, do you ever see that happening? So that's my rant about sports games. Uh, I'm sure there's definitely a few points I, I left out. This is not a scripted video, so of course I'm going to be jumbling all over the place. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you play sports games? Do you not? Do you think they should be a yearly release? What do you think about Call of Duty and all those other things? I've voiced my opinion, and I've, I've been pretty steadfast in, in holding the same opinion for a while. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheerio, mates.